r slash ask reddit people in stock photos what's the weirdest way you've seen your photos being used i let a photographer friend take a stock photo of me i looked sad in it and it ended up on some website about victims of abuse in college a photography student took some pictures of me playing classical guitar i ended up in a viagra ad i was 19 college must have been rough yet yeah, my peen still has scars I didn't even know I was in a stock photo until my grandma bought a picture frame at Sears with my t-ball team picture in it. They saved her a step. I ended up finding myself on one of those now hiring posts on Facebook for a company I was trying to get hired at. He's literally the guy in the picture. Imagine going in for interviews and seeing this guy walk in ahead of you and then looking at the wall and seeing his damn face on the hiring poster. Triple bonus points if he wears that same outfit to interview. Interviewer discreetly but urgently wondering if his cold meds are kicking in too hard or if the receptionist is seeing this also. My whole family modeled back in the 80s. Somehow my dad ended up in a brochure for some born again church that said he was a sinner and adulterer until he found Jesus. Question. Where did he find Jesus? Was he behind the dried oregano? Asking for a friend. This takes place many, many years ago when foreigners were a rare sight in Japan. I'm a big, friendly looking white guy, and I was asked to do some photos of a couple on a date. So I go around to some scenic locals with a beautiful Japanese woman, the photographer, and his assistants. Fun day. Took tons of romantic photos. And that was the end of it. Until a month or two later when my date and I showed up on posters all over the subway as part of an AIDS awareness campaign. Because you can catch that from foreigners. You know. Needless to say my friends and co-workers thought it was hilarious. And amazingly it didn't have any noticeable impact on my dating life. Looking back my only regret is that I didn't steal one of the posters. Similar thing happened to my trainer a couple years ago. He was running a marathon for an AIDS benefit. One of the things people don't realize is your participation often includes a waiver for all photos taken at the event. His finish line photo becomes the face of overcoming AIDS adversity in a big ad campaign. The problem is he trains a bunch of boxing and MMA guys. You cannot participate in those sports if you have AIDS and other blood transmitted diseases. So it created a big issue for him with some of his pro clients. The university took a bunch of professional photos of me and some friends for their billboards and campaigns. I was pretty surprised to open a handbook and find out I was the face of their fine arts program. Especially pottery. I was a neuroscience major. I googled my husband's name and a picture of him has been mistaken and mislabeled as Ann Coulter's husband. I have some friends that found one of their wedding pictures from Facebook somehow printed on a pillow in a market in a Middle Eastern country. Like, they just randomly happened upon their wedding photo in a random street market. They are from the US. My family did a stock photo shoot when our kids were young. Like 1 and 3. A picture they took on our porch ended up in the opening credits for the Americans. Not me, but my younger brother had his picture taken when he was about 9 or 10 for the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. My brother was a really cute red-headed kid with freckles and they asked my mom if they could use his photo for their promotional materials. A few months later, we get a brochure in the mail with my brother's face on it talking about the Big Brothers program. It was really funny because they had changed his name to Timmy and in little kid handwriting written things like, I really need a big brother and have you found me a big brother yet and then ended it with love. Timmy, my siblings and I laughed a lot over it and called my brother Timmy for weeks. My friend was in a stock photo where he held up a baby picture and it got used for an anti-circumcision ad campaign. Was pretty shocked when I saw his face on the side of a bus. I'm in an ad campaign in my home state in Australia for the government. I'm the face of don't buy alcohol for underage people. It's just me looking like a dad who's thinking of buying a drink. Obviously for a teenager somewhere. Ironically I don't actually have my own kids. I get emails from people I haven't heard from in years saying I saw you on the wall of the bottle shop which is kinda funny. Mayo I see this exact ad every second day. Sup dad. My husband and I did stock photos when I was pregnant with our first. I ended up seeing myself later on the side of a bus as well as in a pamphlet for young moms. Flattering. At my doctor's office. 
The more interesting part, though, is that my husband took part in another family shoot, various poses cooking in the kitchen etc. Years later I was looking up a colleague on Facebook and her cover photo was her and my husband chopping vegetables in a stock photo. My cousin took a photo of me wrestling my sister at a family reunion a few years back and it somehow wound up on an online forum about domestic abuse. I had a few of my friends messaging me who were obviously very confused lol. I was asked to go to a big opening event party for a park in China. As a foreigner this kind of thing is pretty common. They want some white faces. Free food and drink. All the other guests had to pay. But in the end they start guilt tripping me. Put on this traditional Chinese costume they say, some kind of kung fu looking robe thing. Let us take some pictures they say. Fine. I let them do it. A few weeks go by and random people start pointing me out in public. My students are giggling in class. Finally when I'm out and about someone approaches me. Are you the guy? From. And shows me a picture on the phone. My likeness in Chinese traditional way has been printed on building size billboards around the city. I look goofy as duck. All around the city where I live and work. My ex used to work with a local photographer who is apparently pretty well known. He took a photo of me and my family and now it's a permanent piece at the New Mexico Museum of Art in Santa Fe. So strange. I wonder how many people's houses I'm in. I'm on the opposite end. I'm a graphic designer so I spend a lot of time on stock photo sites and I have so many questions. Some of the photos I've seen, there's no possible context that would make sense for them to be used anywhere. Why can't I hold all these limes is what comes to my mind first here. I remember seeing this on reddit somewhere, but a guy submitted a stock photo of himself as a joke. Now it's used as almost every picture representing guys who can't get dates in articles. There was also another redditor whose stock photo was used on vibrator batteries. I got used as a person with intellectual disabilities. I also did not know my photo was going to be used for anything. Maybe your inability to make medium term memories is why this was a shock to you. I did a stock photo shoot about 10 years ago and my photos show up in the weirdest places. 3 ex-boyfriends have texted me out of the blue after my stock photo showed up in their work training modules. Someone in my senior capstone class used my photo in their class presentation and didn't realize it was me until everyone kept awkwardly looking at the screen and looking back at me. Every so often, my face pops up in a sassy black lady meme. Paired with text like devil don't try me today or too blessed to be stressed. Type amen if you agree. The weirdest in my opinion. My mom decided to join some crappy MLM makeup company because she was flipping through their catalog and saw that they had used one of my old stock photos as one of their makeup models. I was very obviously not wearing their makeup in the photos and my stock photo didn't match any of the other models photos. Basically, whoever designed the catalog was like oh snap. We need some diversity in here, but they were too lazy to actually hire another model so they just grabbed a stock photo of a black chick and called it a day. The strange thing is that my mom joined the company because my photo was in the catalog, but she had to have known that I wasn't wearing the company's makeup, because she personally did my makeup for that stock photo shoot 5 plus years earlier. I had my photo taken in high school studying with my friend at the time. Almost 5 years later, my brother said I was in the county brochure for library services. The picture was most likely chosen cause of the diversity, Asian girl and a black girl. When I was a kid my mom took me for a photo shoot. then a month later I was on a pamphlet that said millions of children don't have homes, adopt one today. When I was 17 a friend of mine asked me if I could help him with some pictures he was working on for a project for college. We used our other friend's attic and he took a couple of pictures of me in a suit in front of a typewriter. He really liked one of the pictures and he ended up asking me if I would be okay with him having it be part of a small gallery show he was doing at the local coffee shop. They often had a small show and then put up the work to decorate the place and if people were interested they could buy them. I told him that I didn't mind and it was cool seeing my picture up at a place we went to so often. Well, my picture ended up actually being bought, which I did not expect at all. So, there is someone out there that has a framed picture of me, possibly decorating their wall or mantle, which is weird to think. 
he gave me a print for myself of it, and it is a pretty cool picture. It's not stock photography, but it's definitely something that's strange for me to think about. Not me but my best friend. He did a photo shoot in some construction worker garb and a hard hat. We live in North Carolina USA. I'm on a business trip in Chicago, and I stop by a Walmart for some supplies. I'm in the men's work clothes aisle and there's my buddy prominently on the wrapping of 50-ish packages of work shirts. It was a weird wait, where am I moment. I knew he did some modeling, but not specifics. I sent him a pic. He had no idea it had been used. The guy is in every Walmart in the country and had no idea. My father is a photographer and so my sister and I were models for stock photography. I was on shopping bags in Mexico. My sister was in a bank brochure. My favorite though is when my sister's high school science class was reading from a textbook and she sees a picture of me putting mascara on in a mirror. She yelled out to the class. Hey that's my sister apparently it gave everyone a good laugh. On a less funny note, I was a kinda chubby kid so my dad did a whole shoot of me in a grey tracksuit looking sad on a scale, and pinching my belly fat in the mirror, etc. Ended up on being used in a child obesity campaign. He didn't tell me what it was used in until years later. I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed.